Hello all, uh, this is Mike from Dynamic Point. Today we're going to be looking at how Office 365 could be used to manage a request for proposal or a request for quote um, process. Quick introduction of who Dynamic Point is. Uh, Dynamic Point, we've been around since 2009 and we create apps on top of the Office 365 framework. As we've been around a little bit longer than Office 365, we have a history of doing custom development as well as SharePoint on-premise products. And then now all of our apps are 100% Office 365 based. It's a little history on us. As far as our product portfolio, we have three products. We have an AP automation, we have an employee expense management. We're actually gonna ignore both of these for the sake of today. And the product that we'll be featuring in conjunction with our request for proposal um, management process is our portal app. And our portal app basically enables the sharing of ERP and CRM data on an Office 365 SharePoint extranet. What makes us different from a development perspective is 100% based on our approach and leveraging of the Office 365 platform. So specifically when it comes to RFP management, we are going to showcase our portal application. And from a framework perspective for managing all of the documentation as well as the user interface associated to RFP management, we're gonna leverage SharePoint online. It's gonna provide the security, the branding, um, all of our RFP documents will be stored there as well as, like I said, it's just the general foundation for all of the information that will ultimately be collected during the RFB process. For workflow, generally speaking, this is quite heavy in an RFP process. We're going to be using Power Automate. It's going to trigger notifications, um, send invitations to prospective vendors, things like that. For data collection, we're going to um, have several tools at our disposal. We have Power Apps and Forms. And then for analysis, we are going to leverage Power BI. So all of these products are generally included with every Office 365 subscription out there, at least all the enterprise subscriptions. So for most of our audience, these are gonna to be tools that you already own because they are part of your subscription currently. So to look more through the process, what is a typical request for quote process? And the first step here is the initiation, right? So I'm gonna initiate an RFP and I'm gonna invite prospective vendors um, to participate in this RFP process. I may share templates with them. I'm gonna give them access to our portal site such that they you know, have a location to submit documentation for me to share information with them and overall manage the entirety of the process. After that, of course, comes the vendor response. So this step right here, they're gonna provide pricing, maybe update quotes. It really depends on the data that I wanna collect. Um, they may supply proposals. Uh, all of these vary, of course, based on the type of business um, that you are in and um, what is necessary or um, to be supplied by the various vendors or potential vendors um, that are involved in this RFB process. After I gather their data, I'll move on to the analysis of it. Maybe I want to compare bids um, using the various tools provided. Maybe I want to do a vendor selection. And then after I select them, I want to do an onboarding process. And then there's some ongoing aspect. Maybe I want my vendors, um, now that they're part of this, to see their POs, update them, manage POs, um, look at contracts, look at invoices, and all of the other various elements going on on the accounts payable side um, within my ERP and financial systems that are um, applicable to ongoing management of vendors. So that's a little bit of introduction. I'm not going to cover all of that today, just give you some examples um, that we've done and maybe get your wheels turning on what's available. So I'm going to get out of PowerPoint right now. And I'm going to go to a sample RFP management site. And really this is just a SharePoint site. As you can see, it's hosted with Office 365 SharePoint. Um, the only difference here is that I've added our app to this, and our app is going to enable the integration with some of that data that is um, stored in my uh, ERP system that I want to share with either vendors or you know, potential vendors who are involved in this RFP. 
So first and foremost, let's look at the layout a little bit. Um, this layout is really up to you. Microsoft does provide templates. If you'd like to look at templates for SharePoint extranet sites, they provide this site called Lookbook. And you could go look at examples on how you want your RFP management um, site to use, and you could actually download these directly or just use them for inspiration. What I have laid out here is the ability for um, vendors who are participating in this who are maybe already existing vendors to see their orders. Uh, I have a section here for updating quotes within the system or updating bids that already exist, seeing their invoices for those that they've already won. I have some documentation that I want to share with them, such as some templates, and we'll go through each of these individually. Also here I have a countdown to how many days are left before the RFP process is closed, as well as contacts within the company the ability to manage their information within my system, as well as for me to post news um, of where we are in the RFP process. So I'm going to showcase both a combination of just standard Office 365 components, as well as we'll look at some of um, the functionality that our portal product will deliver to this um, business process. So let's just look at some of the things here. So I have obviously the ability to complete my RFP here and kick off the process. I have contacts, so maybe I want to contact someone within the organization um, and ask them questions about the RFP. Of course, I could email them directly from here. So those are just the internal contacts that I want to publish that um, a potential vendor can communicate with when it comes to RFPs. Um, I've also shared with them templates. So obviously these are going to vary from organiz organization to organization. So I have a bid template that maybe I want them to complete, a contact list of who's involved in the RFP, as well as a quote that I want them to submit. Other things here that I have on the left nav, I have a um, issue list as well as a tracker list. The tracker list here is going to show progress in the RFP. So they could go denote which steps are done, whether or not they've completed various things. Um, I could, of course, edit this and say that I've um, submitted all my questions, I received my reply. Um, I could obviously put different priorities to these as well as confirm that they have been completed and an end date associated to them as well. So I could go ahead and say, hey, this is done. And get out of here. So I'll go ahead and exit. So that gives me just a little bit of um, project management capabilities such that they could see all of the steps that are required, as well as maybe I want to publish dates so they're aware of when these um, due dates are going to occur, or even put workflows associated to this list so they could get reminders. Sometimes vendors need to submit questions, so I have a um, issue list that they could go ahead and create a new um, submission, maybe put in their issue, supply a description, identify any people, um, as well as more details or add images or attachments associated to the issue. So these are information that would be submitted to me as the organization soliciting the RFP. Or maybe I want to invite new vendors to participate in this RFP process. So here I have a form that would most likely be completed by someone in my procurement team who's managing the RFP. They could select what type of vendor this is, specify details, put such things as the address, contact emails, um, etc. And when I complete this, I could have a workflow associated with it that maybe sends them an email invite saying, hey, welcome to our RFP process. Here's the site to um, upload all your documentation and any questions or, or whatever will be posted to that site. Let's go ahead and go back here. So that was the issue tracking list. Um, that was my vendor invitation. Again, I have those documents also shared here for them to complete. Um, but let's get into some of the portal functionality. So maybe I want to give them the ability to see existing orders. When I click on this icon here, it's actually going to query the ERP system and show them all of their existing purchase orders that maybe this vendor has already won. And this usually comes to play, of course, after the bid is complete, but they could go in here and update acknowledgement dates um, as well as acknowledge the PO. Anytime I make any changes in here, we have workflow and notifications associated to this. So if I were to go ahead and open up my 
email here, you would see that I um, just submitted a new change and here's the user. So this was just a simple email notification showing the delivery data has been changed as well as the PO has been acknowledged. And in this case, I've also given them the ability to print any existing report or quote. Um, in this case, it's a PO. So they could go ahead and download that directly from the portal as well. Other things I could do as opposed to existing purchase orders, maybe I want them to see their quotes in the system. So again, it's just another integration using our portal service. Um, they could look at their quotes, maybe add supporting documentation if I want them to upload some type of proposal or statement of work associated to that. And again, the ability to print it. As well as see their existing invoices. So this is showing both the historical or paid invoices as well as the open invoices that they have with my company. So that is just a few things to get your wheels turning. Like I said, there's usually um, a lot of flexibility or a lot of variability, I should say, in um, RFE processes because, of course, the documentation that I want to capture is highly dependent on the type of company. Am I just getting them to update a bid with pricing? Or do I want them to submit you know, more documentation such as proposals and things of that nature? So all of this is leveraging a concept uh, that is very much being provided by Microsoft on their B2B portals. I'll include a couple additional links here for further reading. Um, SharePoint portals, as well as SharePoint as an extranet, which gets into the B2B sharing that Microsoft has provided with Office 365. Um, just to cite on that, the big benefit of those users is they're non-licensed. So to enable this portal for collaboration with both vendors and prospective vendors does not require that I give them an Office 365 license, as well as a link to our website. So that was it for today. Hopefully that gives you some ideas. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact us. And thank you so much for your time. Bye now.